Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome once again here to the mess hall at Dr. Jet Laboratories. Um, I got a whole bunch of things I want to talk about. First off, I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers. You know, I don't have very many, and uh, one of my uh, subscribers, who I will call Sweet Accord. Now, Sweet Accord has forgotten more about this than I'll ever know. And so uh, I enjoy having him uh, chime in from time to time. He has some good points. So um, thanks to Sweet Accord. And he mentioned to me once that he likes that I don't beg for subscribers or any of that stuff and ask for clicks. And guess what? I'm never going to do that because... I don't care. This isn't about clicks. This isn't about subscribers. I've never made a penny off this, and I have no intention to make a penny off of this. I just like sharing information. So here's the first bit of information I'm going to share with you. You notice there haven't been a whole lot of videos recently of me running any of my boats. Never mind that I have permission to run on another lake. Why is that? Well, let me tell you something. I like to get uh, aftermarket lithium batteries for my radio. That way I can charge them up. I don't like having, uh, you know, just dry cells in there because they'll go dead on you at the most inappropriate times. So I equip my transmitters with LiPo batteries. Do you know what happens to a LiPo battery if you turn the transmitter on and let it sit for a week or two? It kills them. <laughs> the individual cell rating voltage on this is like 0 0.1 volts per cell. It is dead. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you run lipos in your transmitters, before you put them away, make sure they're turned off. First topic. Second topic. I was cleaning up in the garage and look a hell. This is the very last Atlas 120th scale laser cut plywood parts in existence. I do have the drawing files to make more. And in fact, I've modified the drawing files a little bit. When Big B built his, he uh, used a different battery than I was using. And this little leg here interfered with the battery. So on the, the new plans, I've cut that leg off. And I've also giving you several motor mounts and a blank motor mount that you can drill your own holes. So there's this, ready to rock and roll. So bottom line is my laser cutter is really good. Look at the quality of this laser cutting. I mean, this is precise stuff. And quite frankly, this is all designed within two thousandths of an inch and in fact I allow two thousandths of an inch kerf cut in the plywood because the laser you see it's a little thicker on this side than this side it's it's a tapered beam but um, I could if there was enough interest I could make a bunch more of these things the problem is the the setup costs the cost of the wood is high the cost of the laser cutting is high, but the cost of the setup, getting, you know, the, the laser set up and the drawings in and all that business and ready to go, that's the expensive part. You know, it's he charges like 60 bucks to set up and then whatever the laser cutting is. So these things are not cheap. This right here, believe it or not, I've probably got $75 into it. So, well, yeah, if I were to ship it out and so forth, find something that I could fit it into. So there is a possibility if there was enough interest, 
you know, to spread that setup to amortize it across, you know, 10 or 12 kits, then it wouldn't be so bad. But just doing it for one or two kits, it's just too expensive. But if there's enough interest, if there's enough interest, and I, I should do this later on in the fall, so over the winter building season, you know, but uh, there is a possibility I could do this and the short circuit. Uh, they both fit on the same size sheet. So that's a possibility. Ah, then, remember I talked the other day about making this little thing into a twin, and I got these cool little motor mounts and such. So I'm going to go out on the mill today, and I'm going to mill these top edges off, and I'm going to make some little feet, and we're going to test fit them in here. But that's not the real reason I brought this out for this particular show and tell session. I brought it out because look at here, boys and girls, look at here. An Aquacraft Mini Wildcat. Now get a load of this, boys and girls. Get a load of this. It is freaking brand new in uh, the box. And Get a load of this. It's roughly, it's roughly the same size as that. Now this is an interesting little boat. And it was made back when Aquacraft was just starting to get a little performance. So it's, it's dual counter -rot rotating motors, are they counter-rotating? No, they go the same direction. Now, you see these bolts here? Get a load of this. This is an interesting little design. There are sub-hatches that rotate 45 degrees. And look at this. It has two Speed 400 motors on a metal plate that bolts right in here with some doublers and such. And, and it uses that 2.2 millimeter flex cable. And I don't know if you can see in there, but it, it does pretty much of an S bend in there and into a, a pool of epoxy. So getting these stuffing tubes out would be a challenge. So I may just leave this kind of as is for people to play around with. It would be easy enough to just unbolt this whole motor assembly, pull off the, uh, the, the collets, pull the motors out, swap the motors and put something that has the same bolt pattern in there, which is like a 240 sized motor. And so you could upgrade the motors. It would need a lot of work here on the ride surfaces, although you could get away with just a, uh, a uh, styrene ride plate here on the ride surfaces and call it good. But like I said, I think I'll just kind of keep it around for, for the people that say, oh, that looks cool. Can I try it? This is sure. Here, try this one. This one's just your speed. Why did I buy it? I bought it because it was cheap. I mean, I'm embarrassed to tell you what I paid for this thing. I, I stole it. So maybe I should drive it like I stole it. So anyway, there's a quick update from the... Uh, mess hall here at Dr. Jet Laboratories. Oh, one other thing too. I mentioned in a previous video that uh, I could get motors for the jet stepper. Well, the second email I sent to the, the manufacturer is like, oh, no, 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 no. We don't have that KV available. You know, I made it clear in the first email anyway. 
So there you go, boys and girls. I don't know who. Kn Maybe I'll do another challenge at some time, and this could be the first place prize. What do you think? So I'm just going to set that aside for a while. And until next time, jet out.